live from the Gillespie Group storefront studio on the Avenue of Michigan in the shadow of the Capitol Dome, here's Michael Patrick Shields. That's Phil Denny outside our Gillespie Group storefront studio, our sidewalk concert, just like the Today Show. You can find him at Phil on Sax or on Facebook at Phil Denny. He performs all across uh, the state capital area and all across the Midwest, in fact. And uh, look at him leaning up against the uh, light post there with a saxophone. It's uh, very quite stylish, I would say. Phil Denny this morning playing right outside here on the studio. You're always welcome to come and see us. Uh, we have an open studio. You can watch from the lobby. You can watch from the coffee house. You can watch from the street and even be a part of the show if you want. And uh, we're on the air this morning here in the Lansing Market until 10 o'clock with our Mid-Michigan Business Wrap from 9 till 10. In Grand Rapids on WJRW, their West Michigan Business Wrap will be uh, from uh, 2 till 3 today at Knapp's Corner at the Celebration Cinema there. So there's plenty of access for you to this program, and we even provide entertainment like Phil Denny outside on the sidewalk. Eight minutes before the hour right now, uh, Corey Lucius, the junior basketball player from Michigan State University, arrested very early Monday morning, 2.20 in the morning, in fact, uh, with the charge of operating while intoxicated. Uh, this happened on Linden Street, to right smack in the middle of East Lansing on Charles Street, given a breathalyzer test, registered at .09. That's barely above the legal limit of .08, Trouble is, he's below the drinking age in Michigan. He's not going to turn 21 until November 5th. Shannon Shelton, who covers the Spartans for the Free Press, is on the other end of our line. Good morning to you. Uh, good morning. How are you? Do we know anything more than what I just said about this situation with uh, Corey Lucius? Well, right now uh, we don't have that much more information. I did talk to uh, East Lansing Police uh, Captain uh, Tom Johnstone, and he said, um, yep, he had been getting a lot of calls from reporters and everything, but their policy was until arraignment that this couldn't be discussed and the police report could not be released. And uh, Lucius has four to ten days to turn himself in for arraignment. Mm -hmm. So, um, again, until that, until that point, more information about it cannot be released by the police department. So right now we wait. We just have what was... Um, Kind of posted on the ticket. Uh, most of us have a copy of the ticket or the court record. Mm -hmm. So that's about it right now. But um, this news came to light yesterday. I, 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 from what I believe it was, a, well, yesterday we had a football press conference, but I guess maybe a reporter doing the usual check of uh, arrests and, you know, the general court records and all of that. Uh, mm -hmm. Corey Lucius's name, did some digging, and here we are. Uh, it says that he was released on his own recognizance. Uh, does that mean he was? He must have been. Uh, did, did he spend the night in jail? Do we know how long he was in? From what I understand, it was about uh, maybe about six hours. Okay. The uh, the ticket. He was ticketed at around two twenty a.m. Um, some stories have seen that he's lancing, um, uh, calling the uh, calling the jail. He was uh, out by eight thirty a.m. And again, that was with uh, you know posted the bond. So I believe. A few hours he was in jail, not overnight, because, well, just based on the time that he was picked up. So. Do we know where he did the drinking? No, we're not aware of that. I haven't been able to reach to people yet who could say where, what might have taken place or where he was at the time or where he was coming from or going to at that time. Uh, it, obviously, it's not during the basketball season, and it's barely during the school year. Uh, but right. I think if you did a test of uh, college students... So, almost all of them underage, that's just a guess, have some experience or at least exposure to alcohol. What makes Corey Lucius different? Well, I'm, I mean, again, fortunately for Corey Lucius, being a member of the basketball team, I'm sure if we had looked, anyone who was looking, this is Welcome Week, or, uh, you know, the students, I guess, what they start today. So I'm sure that, you know, the reporters who were looking up all of the, the records, the arrest records from last week probably had to go through a lot of different names yeah. because I'm sure in the weekend where the uh, students return to school, you have a lot of this. And then, of course, if they see Lucius, Corey Lucius, oh, he's a basketball player. Yeah. You know, then you find that name and then you kind of go from there. But I bet you there are a lot of people uh, around his age uh, who are underage probably have the same uh, blood alcohol content, if not more. But again, they didn't, you know, just who got stopped, who didn't get stopped, what were the names of the people who got stopped. I mean, I just think that he was probably one of many who uh, was drinking at, during over the weekend and, 
you know, probably would have registered something like that, if not higher. Is there likely to be some punishment from Tom Izzo, you think? I would say so. Um, again, what punishment and, you know, how it would take place, again, seeing that it's not basketball season, will we have to sit out a few games? Uh, because, again, the basketball team has not had that many problems mm -hmm. recently. I was just thinking this is the first time I've had to uh, do all of this for a basketball player. It's been football players that I've usually had to deal with in, with the court system. So I'm sure Izzo will do something. I mean, he always, he definitely is one to send messages. I mean, he's kept Corey Lucius off a trip for missing a class. So mm. something like this, I think there will definitely be something. The question is just what will he do, and especially seeing that basketball season isn't until you know, a few months away still. Yeah. Well, we will keep in touch and read uh, the result in the free press. Shannon Shelton, thank you very much for the chat this morning. Yeah, thanks. Hopefully we'll talk about football soon. You bet. A couple of days away, the Michigan State uh, home opener this weekend against Western Michigan. Phil Denny is going to play us out. The television viewers, thanks for being with us. Hope you enjoyed the program, especially Phil Denny on sax. Phil on sax is where you can find him, philonsax.com or on Facebook. Radio listeners, stay right where you are. There are two more hours of this. And I'm Michael Patrick Shields.